The death of Internal Security Minister Professor George Saitoti, alongside his assistant Joshua Orwa Ojode, two pilots Nancy Gitwanja and Luko Yugi, and security officers Joshua Tonke and Thomas Muremi, left the nation in a state of mourning. For Professor Saitoti, his death marked the end of a political chapter for a man who was so close to the presidency yet so far from it. Born on August 3rd, 66 years ago, the late Professor Saitoti's academic journey began at Odolua Primary School and then Mangu High School for his secondary school education. He later joined Brandeis University in the UK, then the University of Sussex and eventually the University of Warwick, where he attained a doctorate in mathematics. He later became a mathematics lecturer at the University of Nairobi, rising to become the head of the department. In 1983, retired President Daniel Arap Moy plucked Professor Saitoti from the lecture rooms and hoisted him to the political scene when he nominated him to parliament and appointed him finance minister. <laughs> Professor Saitoti's star was to shine even brighter when Moy appointed him vice president in 1989 to 1997. After 14 months without a substantive vice president, Moy reappointed him in 1999 at a public meeting in Limuru in what was to be called a roadside appointment. As the lawyer second in command for 13 years, it was almost a foregone conclusion that Professor Saitoti was Moy's preferred successor in 2002, but the retired president snubbed him and made his reasons known at a public rally in Kilgoris. Uyo magamu wa raisi ni rafiki, lakini urafiki, sikieni, urafiki ni tofauti. <laughs> Moy then anointed his preferred successor Uhuru Kenyatta, then a political greenhorn, sidestepping more established political names. Wila mbae naweza kuendeja kupeleka wanaiji, kama vile mimi ningebendelea wanaiji kuangoswa. Many will remember the events at Kasarani Gymnasium during the merger of Kanu and NDP when Professor Saitoti was forced to eat political humble pie and responded with words that will forever remain synonymous with him. They come a time, they come a time when the nation is more important than an individual. <laughs> Professor Saitoti was in the race to succeed President Mwai Kibaki in the upcoming race to State House. He had already mobilized a campaign team and was scheduled to launch his presidential bid next month, as revealed by Party of National Unity PNU leaders, where he was chairman at the time of his demise. We were to begin this week in terms of launching the presidential candidacy and moving on with the programs on what we're going to do for Kenya. So I'm actually in between torn, being left out with a program and with a party, but you go on, but you have had to now close one chapter of the candidacy. The late Professor Saitoti's alleged involvement in the multi-billion shillings Golden Bug scandal was a blot in his illustrious political career. He was forced to step aside as Education Minister in 2003 to pave way for investigations into the scam. The High Court eventually cleared him over the Golden Bug allegations in 2004, and Justice Joseph Nyamu ordered that his name be expunged from the Golden Bug probe report. <laughs> Professor Saitoti's last public engagement before the fatal helicopter mishap last Sunday was in Mombasa during the National Conference on Peace ahead of the forthcoming general election. His passionate call for peace and good political conduct, especially by the political class, to avert a repeat of electoral-related skirmishes like those witnessed in 2007-2008, will be remembered by many. Kenyans don't want violence. Kenya do not want violence during elections. Kenya wants to have the freedom to be able to vote the leaders that they desire. With Professor Saitoti's death, the Kenyan political scene 
will no doubt witness some realignment if revelations made by retired President Daniel Arap Moi and Prime Minister Raila Odinga are anything to go by. And in this particular period, during this period, I was trying to help him from Rift Valley to help him to fight for the presidency of Kenya. So we have been talking together uh, all the time. Mimi ni saye toti tulikuwa na MOU miaka nini iliyopita. Ya kwamba tutafanya na yeye pamoja. Kuna watu wambili wa tatu ndani hapa ambao wanajua sitaki kutajaja majina yao. At his emotional send of yesterday, retired President Moi, in retrospect, said Professor Saitoti's leadership acumen had long been ignored. I say with a heavy heart that Professor Saitoti was the cornerstone which the builders ignored. Whether Professor George Saitoti would have risen to become president is a question that will never be answered conclusively. But there is consensus on the choice of words used to describe the late professor of mathematics, diligent, forthright, astute administrator, and skilled leader are just some of the adjectives that have been used in paying tribute to one of President Kibaki's most accomplished ministers. His sudden exit from the political arena will no doubt inform the realignment in the race to succeed President Mwai Kibaki in the coming months. Francis Gashuri for the Kibaki Succession Series.